Welcome back to Let's Play Crystalis with me, Drupidus. And we are here in the town of Oak, and we've recently learned that in the west there is a training ground for sages, and Tornell said he was going to the training place, and that if we found a tornado bracelet, we should bring it to him. So, west is going to be our destination, but first we gotta get out of the poison forest. And right off the bat, we level up to five. That's just great. Should have a much easier time killing stuff. And maybe we can even get some revenge on those blue mushrooms that we couldn't damage before. Oh, I'm gonna get this guy, I'm telling you. Yes. Hate those things. All right. Now, I did say that West was our destination, but why don't we find out what happens if we head north first? First, we'll find these giant blobs. But fortunately, we can kill just about anything we meet. But it's gonna say, Drupidus, you cannot climb this yet. You don't have enough power to make it. And that makes it sound like it's based on your level, so maybe if you hang out here and level up a little bit... Uh, you'll be able to go that way, but that is not true. What that's actually based on is, uh... What items you have in your possession, and we don't have the correct items to go do that yet. So there's really only one way to go, and that's gonna be Mount Saber West, which is actually going to be in kind of the southwest corner of the map. And what I would like to do is get my hands on a little bit more money, because I really want that shield. And what am I at, 170? That's actually not that bad. Only getting four bucks per kill though, so this may take a little while. In the meantime, we'll just kind of start heading back towards town. Any enemies over here? Not a soul. Let's see, do I have refresh on? I do. Let's just use the remainder of that. Yeah, it seems like everything in the area gives me $4, so... We're already almost over 200 though, so I think we can grind this out pretty quick. And while we're doing that, one thing that I wanted to mention, and I kind of can't believe I haven't mentioned this yet, is that the original title of this game, get ready for this, was uh, God Slayer Sonata of the Faraway Sky. Now, Crystalis is a good name for a video game, it's very unique. Uh, but God Slayer is way better in my opinion. But of course, uh, this was the 90s, and Nintendo still had its, um, pretty ridiculous censorship practices in place. But honestly, I don't necessarily disagree with them changing the name for the states, because the states are filled with a lot of religious weirdos. And the name God Slayer would absolutely not have flown. And it would have been really sad to see this game catch that amount of flack, just because it's so great. An interesting thing about this game to me is, uh, one, it never got a sequel. Which is pretty wild to me, but I guess they probably just didn't have the sales. I don't actually know the sales numbers off the top of my head, and I couldn't really find them on Wikipedia. But the point is, is it never got a sequel, but this style of RPG kind of won out in modern times. Like, this action-oriented style is how RPGs work now. Like, if you look at, I don't know, Final Fantasy VII Remake, for example. Or even um, an open-world thing like, I don't know, Skyrim or Cyberpunk or The Witcher. They're all action style. The turn-based thing really went out of favor and just isn't a thing anymore. So, 
you could really think about this game as being just way, way ahead of its time. Sort of incredibly so. And for just a one-off, the fact that they got the genre correct in at least the minds of modern developers is pretty amazing to me. Now, we've got enough money for that bronze shield, so why don't we buy it? And that should pump up our defense quite a bit. Let's go ahead and sell our, uh... Carapace shield. And now we've got enough money for a quick stay at the inn because we're all out of MP. And now I think we're ready to go take on Mount Saber. Now, Mount Saber is going to represent... I would say a significant step up in the level of complexity. Now, it's hard to call a mountain a dungeon, but I think you know what I mean when I say dungeon. So... We're gonna have to really pay attention to what we're doing, and unfortunately um, for me, I already kind of know this part. But it is large and very complex. And has an amazing song. And snow zombies. <laughs> Fortunately, they are worth quite a bit. Now, we don't need to go here yet. Um, the place that we want to go right off the bat... Uh, is a little hard to figure out. Unfortunately, the game doesn't really give you a good hint that this is what you're supposed to do. But we're just going to kind of make a beeline for it. And that is right here. Now, if you try to just walk up it, you won't quite make it. And it seems like you can't go that way. And I feel like this is probably an area that a lot of people who played this in their childhood maybe gave up because you didn't have the internet back then to tell you what to do. We gotta hop up here. And we can just barely make it. Now, if that's not an obtuse piece of level design, I don't know what is, but it is, in fact, the way we've got to go. You know, if someone had said to you, I don't know, the, the rabbit boots can be used to climb up slippery slopes or something. It would have given you a clue. But either way, here we are. And this is one thing in the game that has not aged particularly well, and that is the weapon switching. Where you've got to, when you meet an enemy that's immune to your stuff, switch your sword. And I really wish that there was just a button to do that. And then the other thing is having to equip the Ball of Wind. There is not a... S having to equip the various different uh, elemental balls, which is funny to say, but, you know. There is not a situation where I would not want to equip those. So it would be nice if... Instead of having to equip them, once you've got them, you just have the level 2 charge. Yep, and we gotta switch back. It's just kind of tedious. Now, I can totally understand the impulse of wanting the player to use all of the different tools that they have, right? Like, giving monsters elemental immunities is, in general, a good idea. That being said, having to switch your sword and switch your ball uh, every time you come across these guys in here is pretty annoying. It's just mostly a quality of life thing, like, obviously having to switch the swords isn't hard or something, but it's something that could have been done with a button press somehow. Now, I did say that the NES controller only has four buttons, and that's true, and if you're going to give yourself, or rather your player, the option to move eight directions, like, a direction plus a button is kind of out the window. 
So I'm not really sure how you could do it. But it should have been something. Maybe two buttons at the same time. I don't know, but there should have been a way to do it. Oh my god, they're back. <laughs> when you have to do it really often, you get pretty fast at it. It's really not a big deal, but it is... You know, I want to be honest when it comes to criticisms of this game. It's not a perfect game by any means, but it is really fun. All right, I've had enough. <laughs> Let's just continue on. And this is what we were looking for. The Tornado Bracelet. Oh yes, this is gonna give us Charge Level 3, and it is pretty sweet. The only drawback to Charge Level 3 is that it costs you some MP. So I wanna get a couple of these guys in front of me to try to demonstrate this, if I can. You know what, whatever. And it sends a huge wave attack right in front of you, but costs a few MP to do. So you wanna kinda be careful just to charge to level two and not spend all your MP doing that. Because as you may have noticed by now, uh, magic replenishing items are not common in this game. But we're making great progress, like we're already almost level six. So I think I'm just gonna kinda keep going in here for a little bit. We're gonna ignore that guy, I think, for now. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. All right, this is a good chance to use a tornado bracelet. Just for fun. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that was really sweet. But generally speaking, you're not going to use your level 3 charge attack for anything other than bosses. Alright, now where do I want to be going? I've had enough of grinding in here, honestly. Ooh, I got poisoned. That is no good. So let's go ahead and use that antidote. And let's try to make sure that doesn't happen again. Right, immune to fire. Okay. Now where do... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Now where do I want to go? Right, I need to bring the Tornado Bracelet to, uh, Tornell. But there are a few things that I want to pick up in here. A few treasures that I want to find. But for right now, we can just get out of this room. Let's get our Sword of Fire back out. All right, now I do believe where I want to go is this way. We can take this down. And we could go around or we could just take the slide. I think we'll take the slide because it's a little bit more fun. And there, we hit level six. Should have a little bit of an easier time in here now. Man, and we already have $438. That's quite a bit. That's just fantastic. Ooh. Slid right into him. It's a cheap shot game. Okay, so here's where I want to go. And we're going to want to take the left path for now. Need my wind sword, of course. Right, fire sword, okay. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> I didn't even see him coming.
Wouldn't mind another level up, uh, just to deal with the, these enemies faster, but it's gonna be a little while since it's 1200. Another warp boots. I will be putting a pair of those to use fairly soon. All right, let's get the fire sword back out. And now we want to hang a right from our original entrance way. Yeah, I don't even think I want to go back for those guys. Let's just keep going. Yep, I'm just gonna avoid these guys, because I'm tired of switching swords, honestly. <laughs> Let's grab this. Medical herb is nice to have. I was kind of thinking to myself, I maybe should be holding one of those. But I am at 60 MP, so I have a reasonable amount of ability to heal myself. Whoops. I really don't want to get poisoned again. That was embarrassing. <laughs> All right, let's grab our fire sword. And now we have a couple of different ways we can go. Um, why don't we go right first? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, a whole bunch of them. And yeah, you can see this place is pretty involved. But where we want to go is up this way. So do I want to do that right now? Uh, no. First, I'll show you this. Um, and the reason I'm doing this will become clear in just a sec. Um, but this is not actually the way we want to go. But I think it's an interesting thing about the level design in this game. Out of the way, snow zombies. That's where we want to go, but we can't get there from here. But if we remember where we were just inside, there was a path north in there, which we'll want to take to get to that area. Um, but if you look at the maps of these dungeons, they kind of all geographically make sense. And you might be thinking, well, of course they do. It wouldn't make sense for them to not. But there are definitely NES games that exist where there's not, like, an internal sort of logic to the geography of things. It's a terrible game, but one that really comes to mind is uh, Friday the 13th. Where, like, the direction you're walking and the direction where you end up on the map don't seem to have any relation to each other. So it's just something that I wanted to point out that I really appreciate about this game. There is definitely a, a very nice attention to detail when it comes to the internal logic of these places. But if we want to go find Tornell, we got to go this way. Eh, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Why not? I'm, like, not even going to bother with the bracelet anymore. <laughs> All right. Wait, these guys are wind, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> Oh, 
But yeah, imagine if instead of having to pause the game and switch swords, you could just do it with a button. That would be so sweet. But once again, that doesn't really take anything away from how much fun this game is to play. It's just kind of a little bit of an oversight. But once again, I don't have a better idea, so I'm going to shut up about it. <laughs> I'm actually making fairly good progress on my uh, level up here, too. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Let's talk to Tornell. Drupidus, I'm surprised you made it back. I'll now teach you... Teleport. This magic allows you to move from town to town instantly. Have a safe journey. And so teleport is a spell that's basically going to... obsolete the warp boots. Um, but it is useful to have nonetheless. And what do we get here? A magic ring. And the magic ring is a really useful item, once again... Uh, MP recovery items are super rare. It's going to fully recover our MP, and you can even use it, like, during boss fights and stuff, so it's very, very good. Now, I do want to figure out if there's any other treasures that I've missed in here, but I don't think so. Now, where is our next destination, you may ask? Could it be Mount Saber North? Not exactly. That's not quite where we're gonna go next. Interestingly, uh, Mount Saber has a pathway back to uh, Zebu's cave near Leaf, and that is where we're gonna want to go. But I'm just gonna watch my step and make sure I don't get poisoned again. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god. I am taking a lot of hits in here for no reason. And I keep kind of wasting my MP on, uh, tornado bracelet stuff. It's one of those things where it subtly changes how you, uh, have to play where you need to be paying attention to your charges because if you're just holding the button, uh, you have to, to maintain your charge. Um, but if you stop because an enemy's coming towards you, you'll continue charging and then accidentally end up with a level 3 attack once in a while. So the bracelets can actually be a little bit punishing that way from time to time. Now let's see. Yeah, I want to go this way. Let's get the wind sword back out. And if we take this way, we're going to end up back outside, and we'll be able to take the slides all the way down to where we want to go. Let's get our fire sword back out. No zombies on my watch. Yep, and we can take these all the way down, which we do want to do. Well, perhaps all the way down was an exaggeration. Most of the way down was what we wanted to do. We do need to go back up a little bit. But that's okay. Nothing wrong with killing more zombies. Almost to our destination now. Alright, here we go. And through here... Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yep, and I don't have an antidote. Okay. Well, we're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Fortunately, we won't have to put up with this for very long. But it does damage you fairly quickly. Yep, 
Yep, and here we are in Zebu's cave. And now that we've got our fire sword, we can break this. And let's talk to him. The wind is filled with sorrow. Return to leaf soon. You know what? I will because I'm dying. <laughs> Replenish some life, and then let's try to get back to Leaf. Here we are. Let's hit the inn right now. Oh, right, no one's here. Oh, no. <laughs> Am I just gonna die? All right, I got an idea. I'm gonna try to warp to Bryn Mare and make it to the inn in time. I'm not sure if poison actually kills you or just leaves you at one HP. Oh dear, it does actually kill you. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. We can just continue right at Bryn Mare and um, go ahead and hit the inn. Let me just make sure that I didn't lose too much progress here. <laughs> and I'm kind of thinking maybe I should keep an antidote on me, but I think I'll be just fine. I'm just going to hit the inn. But that was our first game over. Oh dear, that was embarrassing. I should have just warped here uh, right away. But I didn't remember that there wasn't going to be anyone in Leaf, so... So we died from poison, but it's not a big deal. Let's uh, return to Leaf now. And now that we're not absolutely panicking from dying to poison, let's look around. And that's right, there is no one in Leaf. The sorrow-filled wind was portentous indeed. But there is one creature left, and that is right in here. And because we have telepathy, we can understand it. Some evil people attacked and took everyone away. And we're gonna go find out what happened to the people of Leaf, but that's gonna have to wait until next time, because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.